All right, this is like my third attempt at a video because I just keep babbling. Um, like you probably remember from my old wolf show days. Anyway, um, thank you so much for ordering these wraps. I hope you love them. I hope they're amazing for you while you're at Disney because they should last you the whole two weeks. Um, let me just tell you a few tips of what I've learned over the past year or so of selling these guys. So, um, really the point of the nails is, or the main thing is that the wrap only goes on nail. So sometimes they fall off if people don't size it right and it's touching skin or if they don't clear their cuticle because that's technically skin too. And that is you know, that gets oily and the wrap will fall right off that. It breaks down the adhesive on the back of it. It's kind of like a giant sticker. So, um, you want to have really dry nails, which is why the instructions say to wash with like Dawn soap because that cuts all the oils off your hand. And then, um, for the first bit, I wipe my nails with alcohol wipes and my jams lasted okay, like seven or eight days, but not excellent. And now I wipe with like uh, an acetone um, nail polish remover that I got at CVS for like a dollar fifty. Um, but I wipe it down, and that really dries my nails out. And then I can apply the wraps um, good. So I left a couple wraps on so you can see about leaving the space. And this one you can kind of see. I'm pulling my skin down so it's a little bit more obvious, but you can see. Um, is that any good? No. Just wanted to focus. Well, it's not really focusing. Anyway, um, you could see it's kind of a big space. Um, but on the other side, um, it's you can see it, but it's not as obvious. Sorry. I don't know if you could see it. Anyway, um, there's a little bit of space. You can't tell on the fronts, even though... Um, I don't know. You can't tell on the fronts, even though one is a little bit bigger, but sometimes you could tell if you're like running your fingers through your hair and it gets snagged a little bit on the wrap. Anyway, so wash your hands with like a degreasing soap. That's why they say like Dawn soap. I would do acetone, but you don't have to. Um, it just depends on how like, I say oily, but it's not like hair. Well, it's kind of like hair, but, um, like your nails won't be greasy, but um, you will find out if your wraps pop off and you didn't really um, clean them. And then you could push back your cuticles with just like this orange stick. I have a ton of these, so that's usually what I use. You don't have to go crazy, just get it out of the way. Um, you can use your fingernail and just kind of like scrape it off. But then you want to make sure that you wipe it off and none of that stuff is um, still on your nail and then the sticker gets stuck to it. Um, it's just like our kids, like how many times do they try to unstick it from your sweatshirt and then it's just not got that stickiness anymore. You don't want anything on the back of it or in between it. That includes when you're taking the wrap off um, the clear sheet. Like I start at the middle. Um, you're not supposed to touch it with your fingernails, I actually do. I'm not even going to show you that way because you're not supposed to. Um, tweezers. Pull it off. And then you could put it right on your nail. Like that. Um, I didn't even size it. I didn't even look. So I'm not going to do that right now. Um, because I'll send you an application video. This is more just for kind of tips. Um, okay. So when you're sizing it, you don't want it exactly the size of your nail or else it'll touch inevitably some cuticle or your, your skin on your finger. That's why they're clear. It's kind of like Lee press on nails, how you have to have to pick the right size for your nail. This is the same thing except way, um, easier. Um, so you'll see like this nail, I put one edge on the edge where it should be. And then I check out the other side. This one would be on my skin. The size lower is pretty much perfect. Um, and you get a little bit around 
but that's fine. So, um, I take it off. All right. Um, I don't heat mine first, but some people do. If you do heat the sticky side, not the, um, not the like design side. So heat your wrap and then put it on your nail. Um, I actually put it on my nail and then I heat it, press down in the middle and then over to the side, the middle and then over to the side and then like smooth it all down. Um, and like I heat it and then do the pressure. Then you have kind of like the whole wrap on your hand, take some scissors, cut it off. So now you will have like kind of a jagged edge. That's okay. You want to let that wrap cool. Do your other nails. So you'll have, it'll be kind of like a weird nail at the end, kind of ragged, but you want to let it dry. Then you'll take your nail file only down, these are my tweezers, only down at a, like a, a 90 degree angle and down, 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 um, like toward the ground. So like, um, never up and down because that'll make it really ragged down, 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 down. And then it will kind of just roll off. Once it does that, peel it off, heat it again, and then press, 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 and seal it. Because when you um, file it off, you're kind of breaking that seal again. Heat it so it gets sticky and press it. Um, so heat your wrap, really go like down the middle, down the middle like that, and then out to the side, and then out to the other side, and then really just press it down. Some people use like the orange stick again or like a cuticle pusher and they do that. I find it's a little bit harder. So I just use my fingers um, and then seal it again at the end. Any problems that you have with your jams can be solved with heat and pressure. So if it comes up at the end or you're not happy with it, just heat it again and push it down. Um, that's really the only things that people have issues with. Um, you can cut your nails after, um, shoot, there was something else that I wanted to tell you, but, um, I can't think of it right now and I don't want this video to go on forever. So, um, I'm going to try to think of it and then I'll send you another video, but I hope you love them. Call me, text me, send me a Facebook message if you have any questions and, um, yeah, I'm so glad you tried them, and I'm so jealous that you're going to Disney again. I always give Jay a guilt trip, and he still never brings me. Anyway, um...